Good morning and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. It is Wednesday morning, uh, the day before Thanksgiving, about six o'clock in the morning. And I'm hoping Sassy doesn't burn herself on my candles over here. She's fascinated. This is why I hardly ever have candles burning and I love candles, but I don't trust Sassy. I really don't trust Whiskers either because in true cat fashion, she likes to knock things off tables. But it seemed like an appropriate time for some candlelight early in the morning. And uh, I just learned this morning that yesterday a friend's mother-in-law passed away yesterday. And I had planned to talk, I'm still going to talk today, about gratitude and being thankful. But it's a reminder that this is a hard time of year for some people. And this year it's particularly hard. And... A lot of us have many things to be sad for. We have lots of things to mourn for. And it is possible to hold two things or more than two things at the same time. So we can mourn for those we've lost. We can grieve for the things that we wish we could have that we can't have this year. At the same time that we are thankful for the things that we do have. Sassy, you leave those alone, little girl. She's like, yeah, that would burn my whiskers. I've had cats singe their whiskers before. They're not that smart when it comes to open flames. And you can't see whiskers, but she's sitting over here beside me too. Okay, so one of the things that this year has taught me as I've done a lot of preparation for, you know, what if um, we have shortages in the store? What if I can't get certain things that I need? What if the power goes out? What if we have a grid down situation? And I've looked at things like, and this one's going to seem silly, but, you know, how am I going to make coffee if, you know, the grid goes down? And, you know, but things, high whiskers, things like how would I do laundry? And I've actually done laundry that way because the washer and dryer in my apartment building was broken until just recently. Now we have a washing machine that works. Apparently the dryer is still broken, but I usually hang my clothes to dry, so that's all right. But when for like two months, we didn't have a washing machine and I could either go to the laundromat, which, you know, I had to drive there and then spend more money than it costs to do laundry in my building or I could do laundry at home in my little washing machine that has the foot pedal that makes it spin and it's an awesome invention and I love it but you can't do you can only do very small loads in it and it works better in the summer but in the winter you know I have on this big bulky sweatshirt that would be Maybe I could throw in a couple pairs of socks with it, but, you know, one pair of jeans or one bulky sweatshirt makes up almost a whole load in that little machine. So to do like a week's worth of laundry would take forever and a lot of energy expended on my part. And anyway, so I am like so grateful now. I did a load of laundry a week ago in the washing machine in my apartment building and I was so grateful for it. And as the weather's gotten colder, one of the things that happens with my fibromyalgia is I have a lot more pain. I get really achy. Um, and hot baths is one of the best things that relieves my pain. So sometimes in the winter, I take two or three baths a day, which I know is a lot of energy to heat that water. And it's a lot of hot water. And I try to use the water for stuff like flushing my toilet or, you know, sometimes, I mean, the water doesn't even have soap in it because if I get up in the middle of the night because I can't sleep because I'm in pain, I'm just soaking in hot water. That's all. It's so, like I can use that water to mop my floor or whatever. And but I was just thinking the other day how grateful I am that I can have all the hot water I want and I just have to turn a faucet and I you know, if this was like a grid down situation, I'd never be able to do that. I couldn't like carry and heat that much water. Um, the cats, the garbage people are here emptying the dumpster outside and the cats are very excited. They enjoy watching that. Three times a week, every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they enjoy it greatly. Um, 
there are just so many things to be grateful for that I really wouldn't have even thought about before this pandemic when I really started prepping and feeling like there was something, you know, before I always tried to have like, you know, several days worth of food and I tried to have at least a few days worth of water, but I wasn't very good at it, honestly. But I have, like, it seems so much more important this past year. But it really makes you think as you get prepared for that, like, what will I eat and how will I cook it? How grateful I am that I did not have to go fetch water and then build a fire and heat the water to make my coffee this morning. I just had to fill up the pot from the sink and turn on the stove. And then I went and soaked in a hot bath while my coffee got ready. Um, it's a lot to be thankful for. And that doesn't mean that we don't still feel the losses that we've had this year. And I know a lot of people are feeling a great sense of loss around the holidays because they can't be with family or friends. Or maybe they're being with family and friends anyway. Isaac, bring me your Kong. I'll give you a treat. Bring it here. God, bring it. You got to bring it to me. Man, I don't know what he thinks I'm going to get up and go get it. And he's sitting right by us, Kong. Come here, bring it to me. We've had this discussion before that we don't have room service. You got to bring it to me. Come here. Man, I don't know what he thinks because I never go and like get his Kong. He's always got to bring it. Bring it here. Come here. Okay, you bring it. That is so annoying. All right, you're distracting me when I'm trying to talk to people. You know that? He doesn't care. Okay. Um. Anyway, a lot of us this year has not gone the way we wanted it to go, and there's a lot of sorrow around that, and that's okay, but it's good to take time out to just be thankful for all the things that we do have. And... I am thankful for everything. Hi, Whiskers. Yes, I am thankful for you. I am thankful for Whisker Cat, but don't walk on the keyboard, please. The other day she stepped on my keyboard and she somehow changed the color filter from normal colors to grayscale. Everything was black and white. It took me forever to figure out how she, well, I still don't know how she did it, but to figure out how to undo it. There's a kitty tail. We're thankful for cat tails. Yeah. So drop a note in the comments. Tell me what you're thankful for this year. And I hope you're all having a safe and peaceful Thanksgiving. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And have a safe holiday, everybody.